What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, make sure to use my discount code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase on making that team better. Apart from FC coins, u7buy.com also provides more game services like top op mobile games, gift cards, game keys, etc. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest prices now. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys. And today we're going to go ahead and review a special player. It's going to be that 97 rated team of the season, Jude Bellingham. If I'm not mistaken, is the most expensive team of the season player out of La Liga team of the season. We are looking at a card at 6-1 on the height, high, high work rates, 5-star skill moves with that 4-star weak foot, right footed, acceleration type is controlled, 93 pace, 92 shooting, 92 passing, 99 dribbling. 92 defending, 94 physicality as well. Now the play styles that he comes with are the following. Finesse shot, power shot, incisive pass, intercept, slide tackle, first touch, and flare all on basic. And the three play styles on gold are technical, anticipate, and ping pass as well. Now there's a couple chem styles you can give Jude Bellingham, anchor, shadow, or hunter. I'm going to keep him with the hunter chemistry style. The reason for that is that I really want to test out his finishing and see if it's potentially the best as a midfielder in the AFC 24. Acceleration and sprint speed, maxed out 99. Attack positioning, finishing, shot power, get maxed out 99 as well. 99 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling, 99 stamina, 99 short pass, 99 long pass. This man has so many 99s, boys. So many 99s. He has 97 interceptions, 90 strength, and 98 aggression as well. Now, Mr. Bellingham is going to be playing with this team right here. Shout out to the homie Swizzy for letting us down count. We're going to be using him in a 4-3-2-1 as a center center mid right next to that team of the year, Bon Mati. Now, by the time I'm recording this video, Jude Bellingham dropped a little bit in price. He's around 8 to 9 million coins, which is still a lot of coins for a midfielder. For those of you guys that tried out Jude Bellingham already, where would you guys rank him among the best midfielders in the AFC 24? Do you guys think he's better than future star C. Don? Foot birthday rude hullet. We're gonna play some games in foot champs and see if potentially he's number one at that spot. All right, here we go with game number one. Let's see. Currently, we are in elite division, by the way. Uh, that's a very sweaty team, so it's gonna be a good test. Solid left stick dribbling and a nice pass right there. That's a good tackle. Great tackle from the back right there. Good goal. That is a great goal with the four-star weak foot. We take that. What a tackle. Clutch defense right there from Bellingham for the pass not to go to Lewandowski. Great pass once again. Oh, that would have been a sick goal if he scored that. Oof, what a golasso, man. I thought he was going to score that for a second, but what a finish. Test out the passing one more time. That is a beautiful ball to Mukuyele. Wow, what a pass. We'll take that, boys. Here we go, Mr. Jude Bellingham. Outpaces Schlauterbeck, and wow! What a fucking finish once again. Yes, sir. The classic celebration, things you love to see. Very nice with the jockeying and a nice block right there. I will say his jockeying is top tier and it makes sense because he has really high agility and balance. Oh, nice left stick right there. Good try, good try. Good ball control. Great ball control, boys. Keeps onto the ball as well. Wow, I'm at a loss of words, guys. 
Once again, another beautiful goal from Bellingham. Yo, this man might be a better finisher than most strikers. So far, he's very, very consistent. Nice tackle. Currently getting pressed, but Bellingham with some nice composure to dribble out of that press. Little switch and a great ball to Grimaldo. Little power shot. Unlucky. Oh, he's wide open. Shot cancel, reverse elastico, and what a finish with that four star weak foot, man. This man doesn't miss. Ooh, he wasn't able to get that interception, unfortunately. A little bit some one on one defending right here. Nice. Bellingham does deflect the pass, so we take that. Nice. Man, that is just fire. How he's just able to dribble under so much pressure. Lovely stuff. Nice, good ball right there. Yeah, that dribbling is just top tier, boys. Very nice and responsive. Nice, good defense from Jude. And a great pass out the back. Oh, look at the dribbling, guys. Wow. That is just disgusting. That is just filthy, man. Unfortunately, Mbappe misses that. Nice interception. Nice tackle, very clutch right there. Insane composure, boys. Great ball control as well. Very nice defense, and he's on a yellow card, so insane physicality as expected. Jude! With the weak foot to tie it up, three to three, ice in the motherfucking veins. Good, Bellingham versus Balotelli right here. It's gonna be a good test physicality wise. Never mind. We get the nice and easy tackle versus Royce. Good ball as well. All right, boys, and that concludes the review for 97 rated team of the season, Jude Bellingham. Come around 8.8 .8 million coins on Xbox and PlayStation. By the time I'm recording this video late Monday night, 11 million coins on the PC market. We played three games with the card, eight goals and zero assists as a center center mid and a 4-3-2-1 formation. Now, before I go over the card, I do want to apologize if you guys hear some weird ass background noise right now. It is currently raining hard as fuck. It's raining really, really badly where I'm at. So hopefully the power doesn't go out. Hopefully the noise isn't too bad. If you guys are hearing like a really bad thunder noise or the rain, I do want to apologize once again. But let's go over 97 rated Jude Bellingham, which is undeniably one of the best cards in EFC 24. And for me, he's at a lock at a top two midfielder in EFC 24. You can honestly make the argument he's the best. You can also make the argument he's up there with Team of the Season Putellas with Foot Birthday Hullet. So the pros with this Bellingham is literally everything because he's so good that what I like about this card, he has the versatility like Hullet that you can play him anywhere. And I mean anywhere in the pitch and he's gonna put in a 10 out of 10 because he has the work rates, high, high work rates, great work rates for a box to box midfielder. Next, he has five star skill moves. The team of the year was double four. Now the team of the season has five star skill moves. A Bellingham with five star skill moves. And let's go over the dribbling because the dribbling it's just super clean. Even a bad gameplay. Even a terrible gameplay. We were playing elite division. Very sweaty players we were going against. But the dribbling, super amazing. Super smooth and responsive. 97 agility, 95 bounce, 99 reactions, ball control, and dribbling. And you combine that with the technical on gold, 
flair and first touch on basic boys you guys thought birthday hullet was very nice on the ball take a look at bellingham bellingham is in the same category right there now i could go over every single pro with bellingham but let's be honest everything from the card is absolutely amazing pace gets maxed out 99 he's very quick whether you spam step overs whether you're tracking back defensively or whether he's trying to get into that right spot offensively which leads into the shooting category 97 attack positioning going up to 99 great offensive ai with those high offensive work rates but let's talk about the finishing guys the finishing with this bellingham is amazing top tier and he makes the argument as being the best finisher in the afc24 as a midfielder he's up there with zizu he's up there with kdb and he's up there with hullet probably putellis as well 94 finishing 96 shot power getting maxed out 99 eight goals in three games there's no denying the quality when it comes to the finishing with this bellingham and the four star weak foot you guys saw the four star weak foot was very very consistent almost like a five star weak foot at the same time next couple of things i like from the car like i said before is absolutely everything the passing 99 short pass 99 long pass you combine that with the pink pass on gold i know a lot of people in efc 24 love to spam rbas or r1 x's depending what console you're on so that ping pass play style is definitely a very nice addition to the card he also has incisive pass on basic which is also very nice the defending absolutely insane 97 interceptions with the intercept play style on basic anticipate on gold which is a very overpowered play style this year in efc 24 you combine that with him being 6-1 you combine that with the 90 strength and 98 aggression this man jude was winning every single one-on-one -on -one tackle you guys saw even inside the box when we were about to get scored on very clutch and effective tackles with that anticipate play style and also one final thing about the physicality is that he has 99 stamina who doesn't love a midfielder with 99 stamina boys he's gonna last you the whole game no matter where you play him now i'm sure a lot of people are gonna ask me in the comments section below as soon as i drop this video bellingham or hullet Bellingham or Putellas, Bellingham or Sidon, Bellingham or KDB, Bellingham or Bruno. Honestly, guys, I'm going to be completely honest. I think the only people on the same level as this team in season Bellingham is Birthday Hullet. And that's pretty much it because Birthday Hullet can do everything in the pitch, defensively and offensively, at a perfect rate. The same thing with his Bellingham. Nobody else can do it like the both of them. That's just my opinion. Obviously, Sidon is very nice offensively, decent enough defensively. But he's not doing what Bellingham and Hullet do defensively, you know. And it also helps that Bellingham has the anticipated play style. Sidon doesn't have that, even though Sidon does have intercept on gold. But Bellingham obviously has way better defending stats. So if you guys are going to ask me which midfielders to choose between two of them, if it's not Hullet, pick Bellingham. If it's not Bellingham, pick Hullet. Because in my opinion, I think they are solidified as the two best midfielders in EFC 24. I still have to try out Butellas, but until then, that's just my opinion. He's going to get a thumbs up for me, and he's going to get a perfect rating of a 10 out of 10. Let me know if you guys think Bellingham is on the same level as Hullet, or where would you guys rank 97 rated team of the season, Jude Bellingham, among the best midfielders in EFC 24? I am very curious for your opinion. Thank you guys so much for the support on all the videos. You guys are absolutely amazing. The videos that we are dropping today is this Bellingham, obviously. Team of the Season Moments, Joao Felix. Team of the Season Moments, Bobby Moore. Not Bobby Moore. Team of the Season Moments, Bobby Firmino. And maybe a Team of the Season, Sorlot SPC. If that SPC comes out today, you guys might see a player review on him as well. Until next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA. I am out. Bye-bye.